All right, guys, so today started off pretty rocky. It was a pretty shit day. I think that's safe to say, but it's starting to turn up and look better. There's hope, there's light at the end of the tunnel. I'm gonna crank out a really good workout, de-stress, you know. Anyways, moving on. Uh, we're gonna do back day, kind of the traditional workouts, but I'm also going to start working on my pull-up technique. And a couple a while ago, I said I wanted to get that back. Now, I stopped working chest and stopped doing pull-ups. My bad. I'm waiting for the car to pass. Um, because of my breast augmentation, and I was told to kind of stay away from working chest because they can deform them. So that is why I don't do it for those who keep asking why I don't work chest. However, I think it's very important to be able to pull yourself up life circumstances. What is the point of working out so much if you're hanging on a cliff and you can't hold on, you know? Like, I think that's kind of an important thing. So, I mean, it's been at the back of my mind. I'm like, I gotta work on this. I gotta work on this. Um, I have lost strength, and when I pull up, it's uncomfortable. So, somebody has been thinking about me lately, and he has found a way to help me with assisted pull-ups till I am eventually able to do a regular pull-up. Now, if you have a machine, they usually have, like, dips and pull-ups, and they're assisted looks kind of like a seat uh, where you can adjust the weight and it can kind of assist you to do it. This is kind of the same concept. We're gonna start with that because I'm weak and yeah, let's just start with that. Um, and then we'll go into my regular back day. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's see what I can or cannot do and fail miserably at, but whatever. <laughs> you know when the hair's going up, things are getting serious. Serious for those pulls. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I haven't done it in a long time, so I'm gonna be hurting tomorrow for sure. I wanted to see if I could do one on my own. You guys saw how that worked out? <laughs> uh, so we're gonna start we're gonna doing regular. We're, we're gonna work on that. It did help to like kick my knees, like it kind of helped. Anyway, okay. Uh, awkward moment. Let's. Yeah. <laughs>
come inside because it is super humid out there. Like you just sweat standing and that's it. I don't even have to work out, but no, I did work out and it was a great workout and I'm going to cry tomorrow. But two things I wanted to talk about because I keep being asked, my squat, my, my squedule, my squedule, <laughs> my schedule. Um, I've said it oftentimes. I think maybe you guys didn't catch on or I don't know which video I said it in, but I feel like I've said it quite a few times. Leg day lands every third day. Leg day's priority. Try never to miss leg day. And then upper body days just kind of get mixed in between. Um, it depends how much I want to work my upper body. That's personal goals. Say in the beginning, I would have worked it way more. Like two years ago, I was working like my, my upper body um, at least twice to three times a week. Now, I don't know. I don't, know. I don't really have a dur I, I go based off of feeling like once you get your physique more set to the point where it's like hey you gotta like lay off your traps or something or your biceps or once you start to like see things like okay now I now I can pick and choose where I want to build muscle I don't have to keep building my biceps if I don't want to or I don't have to keep building this if I don't want to anymore that's the beauty of muscle you can target muscle you can't target fat so for that reason sometimes I do upper body sometimes I skip a week and I don't do upper body at all but leg days are always the third every third day it's actually kind of hard to decide hey I'm gonna stop doing upper body once you get into like a routine you always keep it and you, you forget to like go backwards check what you want in your body what you want to keep working on what you got to chill with it, it's hard because of the lack of activity like I feel like people feel the need to work out for them it's a stress reliever you it becomes a habit and you just got to do it so limiting or cutting down days can be very difficult for people but sometimes it's contrary it's counterproductive counterproductive towards their goal so like somebody who loves working out but is trying to get a butt but she does cardio and is always constantly moving her calories have to be super super high which is makes it really hard to reach them um, to gain that so like because she is so into working out and has to do it all the time it's actually sabotaging her goals um, same thing for someone who feels like their upper body is really big and they really just need to work on their bottom but they keep working on upper body and, and eventually it, it's unproportionate or just not towards their goals and they're kind of like how did I get here and it was more just working out without a purpose not stepping back and saying hey you know do I still want to keep building up my upper body am I happy with it do I want to make it ripped should I do more days you know um kind of just yeah, that's, that's a mental thing. It, it is a mental thing and, and you have to put your goals first um, and decide, you know, hey, is this aligned with my goals or am I actually going against my goals? Um, so that's just a tip. That's my schedule. Way more complicated than it had to be, but the, uh, yeah. Second point, you guys keep asking me for clean Mexican foods. Pretty sure I've done like 90% Mexican foods that are cleaner. I don't know, maybe you guys missed those videos. Um, but the majority of them are Mexican foods because we like Mexican. Um, and yeah, we like to clean it up. So every if you've Monday. missed it, go back and check because we post three times a week. So it would be every third, mm -hmm. right, video. Um, and just, you'll, you'll see stuff, that stuff. Tacos, chilaquiles. I can't think anymore. What else? I gotta eat. I gotta <laughs> yeah. eat. What else do we do? A lot, I'm pretty sure. There's like shrimp cocktail, but I don't know if that comes from other countries too. Probably does different varieties, different ways. I just learned it from a Mexican. <laughs> There's chorizo with eggs. I don't know what that's called, but that's also kind of a Mexican thing, I think. I don't know, whatever. It could be changed into like different kind of foods, but most of them are. Of them yeah, like maybe 95%. Because like bean soup is like, everyone needs bean soup, right? Okay, anyways. Every Monday, new recipe. I forgot what I was telling you guys about it. I really gotta go eat. So we're gonna end it here so I can go eat and not be crazy with you guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little bell by the subscribe button so you're notified every time I post a video. And until next time, bye guys.